Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to get right into it. So whatever the cards want to say, we'll see what the story is. Death, so some kind of rebirth and transformation. Knight of Swords. The Chariot. All right, someone's coming in quickly. Let's see, the Empress. Six of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. The Tower. The Sun. Hmm. Why the tower and the sun? The hangs man, so a new perspective, page of wands, the high priestess, eight of swords, and the two of wands. Okay. I feel like someone's feelings have just been revealed. So maybe somebody just realized that you have feelings for them. Maybe they weren't getting the hint before, and now they're starting to realize it, or could be the other way around. Let's see here. Tell me more about the Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Because the High Priestess, I mean, there's like some kind of message here. And with the Hangman, there's a new perspective. With the High Priestess, you know, she's very intuitive, but she doesn't really speak on what she sees. She just kind of sits back and observes. So I feel like maybe this person was told about your feelings or, or they want to tell you about their feelings. Let's see here. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands. Yeah, because I feel like someone's been trapped. Like, I feel like someone's been kind of, like, blocked and tied up a little bit. Like, they've been, they haven't been seeing what's right in front of them. They've been wanting to make something, like, you know, Two of Wands is about, like, long-term uh, effort, like, really planning things out. And I feel like they kind of just got stuck in their head. They weren't really taking any action. They might have been shy. They might have been insecure. But now I feel like they're wanting to build something. They're wanting to come forward. Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody... I feel like somebody wasn't coming forward quickly enough. Like, they were kind of coming forward. It's almost like they didn't know how to flirt or, like, they came forward in their own way. Does that make sense? It's like they didn't come forward in a traditionally romantic way. They might have made little gestures here and there, but you, you might have mistaken it as platonic or you might have... You might have just seen this person as like a business partner or something of that sort or someone that you work with. Like you, you know, something was misunderstood here. So someone felt rejected, but I think there's some kind of truth and clarity coming out because I feel like for, for a while, both of you just kind of felt like this was a lost cause, but I feel like some kind of truth is coming to the surface that lets you guys know about each other's feelings. It could even be a mutual friend that's just, you know, tired of, of you guys not doing anything about your feelings and maybe this mutual friend is just going to say something to them. Um, cause it's like, there's a transformation here and someone's coming in quickly towards the Empress with the chariot here. It's like, they want to put in the, the effort. They want to put in this hard work. Tell me more about this. Son of Wands is somebody really, really standing their ground. I feel like, I feel like with the tower though, they're not going to be able to stand their ground for long. It's like maybe they were trying to, um, like they were, maybe they were shy and insecure and kind of going a little bit too slowly. They wanted to make sure that you had feelings for them before they said anything, I'm trying to play it cool kind of, and the tower is coming in to shake everything up. So there's like a sudden epiphany, some kind of sudden truth being revealed that brings in the sun. Tell me more about the situation. Yeah, because it's like somebody has been waiting for this to take off. Somebody has been waiting for this to manifest. And I don't think they're, if you're in this energy group, you know, only take it if it resonates. But I'm not getting that this person is like a bad person. I'm just getting that this person might be like, um, they might have some like social issues or they're not fully, um, 
because in the last reading I did for Sagittarius, I was getting somebody that's like neurodivergent. So they might come off the wrong way. It might be like somebody who's like autistic or something of that nature. And maybe they come off as detached or cold or something like that. But really, like you might be able to sense like there's like a kind of awkwardness with this person where they're just kind of shy. Um, but I feel like they, they needed to make a move. They Somebody wasn't making a move here. Somebody was just kind of planning and they were fantasizing about you and they were daydreaming about you and they might... Um, I feel like this person might not be very experienced with uh, dating in either. I feel like maybe this person, it's its almost like this person was just kind of living in like a fantasy land. Like, oh, maybe like, like a high school crush kind of energy. Like, oh, maybe I'll bump into them tomorrow at the cafe or, or at the grocery store. How exciting. And like, that's okay. That's not a relationship though. You know what I mean? Like you need an actual solid relationship. Um, I feel like this person is like really intimidated when it comes to like sexuality, romance, I mean, they have a very sweet, innocent energy, but they, they're also very, um, there's that inexperience. So you kind of have to decide if you want to deal with this, but, um, but yeah, it's almost like they were like kind of trapping themselves because they were just planning things out and they were just kind of stalling and they just, they weren't, it was like a high school crush. Like they weren't taking the steps to like make this a real solid connection you know what I mean it was just someone kind of fantasizing living in their head like oh I hope I bump into them or oh like like maybe over analyzing little gestures that you made or or just it's it's like somebody who doesn't really know how to do adult relationships so they're they, they're sweet they're very shy they're very sweet but but they don't really know how to do adult relationships it's kind of more like a high school crush kind of fantasy energy is what I'm getting here um, so again, it depends on if you want to deal with this, but it, yeah, it does look like there's potential here. Because there's some kind of truth being revealed where it's like somebody's, you know, somebody is going to push this person towards you or you to, or towards them because somebody's like, you need to make a move already. You know, somebody needs to like get this off the ground. Um, somebody, one of their, somebody's friend, either it's your friend or there, but some, maybe a mutual friend of both of yours, but somebody's friend has gotten impatient with this situation. And they're like, you need to, you guys need to do something already. Like you need to, do, if you're going to do it, you need to do it. <laughs> that kind of energy. Six of wands, victory. Six of cups can be childhood innocence, the devil. Ten of swords. Hmm. No, the Six of Cups is about like, it's about the past. It can be about reconciliation, childhood, the devil and the Ten of Swords, though. That's like, I almost want to say that I feel like this person is like emotionally, how do I explain this energy? Emotionally, like they're like their growth is stunted. Like maybe they went through something in childhood that was traumatic or like maybe they, um, Maybe they were like babied their entire life. So they never, it's it's like some, someone stopped mentally growing in childhood. So this person, they're very sweet, but they kind of have like a childlike mentality. They kind of, it's like they stopped growing at a certain point. They stopped mentally maturing at a certain point. And like I said, I don't think this person is like necessarily toxic. I just think they're, they're kind of young. They're, they're emotionally, they're kind of young. Um, Maybe not, not such an old soul. I'm not feeling and unless, you know, well, I should say mentally, not, not very mentally. They're very young. I don't know about as far as the, you know, soul level goes, but it's like, yeah, something, some kind of childhood trauma or even just being too spoiled in childhood, you know, just some, something stunted their growth in childhood, I feel, which has kind of made them like this where they they don't they want to be an adult but it's like they mentally don't fully know how to be an adult they're still at like kind of like a high school level um very sweet but mentally young and immature tell me more about the page of pentacles and the seven of cups five of cups four of swords the higher font, two of pentacles. Hmm. 
It's like they're juggling two different mindsets. It's like who they want to be and who they who they mentally are, the magician. But there's there's potential for them to get out of this energy. Queen of Swords. It's almost like I think you might be showing up as like a king or queen of swords to this, at this point because you're. I think you guys are both very sweet and loving, but I think at some point you're. I think you kind of are getting fed up too. I think you're like, okay, is this, is this person gonna be daddy or not? Like, is this person gonna be able to be assertive? Is this person gonna be able to, like, find that balance for me? It's like they kind of need to. Um, They're too insecure, too. They're too quick to just assume that they, like, this could be somebody that's really attractive that has, like, what is it, like, ugly duck syndrome or something where they're really attractive, but they don't realize they're attractive, and so they're just kind of shy, and so they might have all these people that are, like, intimidated by them because of how attractive they are, but they just think that people are, you know, they don't see it as people being intimidated by them. They They probably just think that people, like, don't like them or think they're unattractive or they're they're it's it's almost like the the physical appearance doesn't match what's going on mentally with this person is kind of what I'm feeling. It's almost like Peter Pan kind of energy here too, where it's like they want the commitment. They want something with you. But they're juggling. They're juggling. They're like they, they like they want the commitment they want something solid but then they they kind of have this again again like this high school crush mentality of like never getting this off the ground and just being like just kind of obsessing over you and dreaming about you justice four of pentacles six of swords yeah if they keep holding on to that mentality um, I think you're going to go forward as the Queen of Cups, and I think the Divine is going to be bringing you somebody else. There's going to be a judgment call that's being made. You might just get tired of this situation, even though you do have feelings for this person. King of Swords, Page of Swords, tell me more about this. I feel like it might be what, let's see here. I feel like this person almost, it's like they need gentle energy. This isn't somebody that deals well with confrontation. So like I wouldn't be confrontational with this person, but it's almost like if this person has been babied their entire life and they need to not be babied anymore, they need to know that there is like that they have to do something that you're not just going to deal with this being a cute little high school fantasy. Like you want a real relationship. You want somebody that's going to commit and be solid. So there might need to be... Like, like a conversation, again, this person's nerve and diversion, they're very sensitive, so be very gentle with them when you do, if you do have this conversation. But I think the divine is bringing you somebody either way, if they don't, if they don't get their, if they don't get it together, and again, not a bad person, but just too shy, but if they don't get it together and make some kind of effort, then that cycle's going to close out, because the divine doesn't want to do it with, they, they don't want to this person is just taking too long. I mean, this person has the chance to mature, but they're kind of emotionally stunted. Or their growth is stunted, I mean. Um, it's like they're dreaming about it. When they're alone, they're fantasizing about you. They're thinking about this. They're wanting this. There's a lot of sexual fantasies too, for sure. Tell me more about what this truth is. It's being revealed. Something just coming to the surface. I think someone's going to tell them straight up, like, you know, if you want your wishes fulfilled, if you want, you need to, you need to shape up. You need to be a king of wands or a king of pentacles. You can't keep male or female. This person can't keep being in this childish energy as sweet as it might be. It might be charming, but, but they have to, um, there might, they might even, this person might even say, Hey, this person might date somebody else, or they, they might go off with somebody else. If you don't want to step up and give and make an effort for them, you're going to end up getting heartbroken. You're going to end up wishing that you hadn't just made this, you know, a fantasy and that you had made this a reality. You, someone's, someone's going to give them a pep talk about going after their dreams. I think temporary, it could be you too. It could be someone giving you a pep talk. Maybe you're in this energy temperance wheel of fortune yeah because they're like if you don't find that balance if you don't balance things out and make an effort and show them that you can be a you know an adult the the, the karmic wheel is going to turn you know what i mean so it's like if you want this ten of pentacles with this person you got to make that effort um 
but yeah, it looks like the person will, I mean, it looks like they will want to make that effort. They're, they want to be more of an adult. They do, they want to, they just almost feel like this person needs counseling or they need some, they need some kind of help or something because they don't, it's almost like someone that just stopped growing. So it's like they need to be shown how to be an adult. Um, they really doubt themselves a lot. So I do want to warn though that this person could be looking for just like a mommy or something like that. I do kind of, I mean, they do have feelings. They do have feelings for you, but they also, I don't know. There's just, there's a side to them that just kind of reminds me of like a baby. I don't, I don't know. There's a side of them that's just, it's very, it's just very childish. So as charming as this is, I don't know if I would personally would have the patience for this. Um, but it does look like someone is going to talk to them and, and get through to them and, and they're going to at least make an effort to be, to, I think they're just, I think they're so oblivious. That's the thing. I, I, I don't think, like, I think that they, like I said, it's like they have you on this pedestal. So they don't really realize your feelings for them. They don't realize, it's like they don't think anyone would be interested in them. And so I think it's going to kind of come as a shock to this person that, you know, someone might actually want something with them. So they're going to be really excited. But again, it's kind of like you might just be their unicorn where it's like they're excited and they want something, but they might like this could be somebody who's like very nerdy, um, which is a good thing. Like I love nerdy people like I'm like that, too. But it, it's like but it's like somebody who's like nerdy to the point like like, you know, those people who just like they don't want to connect with anybody. Like they don't want to connect with people. They want to play video games all day or they want to um, like watch movies or just read books. But like, that's, that's it. Like they don't really want to connect with people or like they don't know how to talk or how to connect with people. It's kind of like that kind of energy is what I'm getting, getting from this person. Um, so again, very sweet, very charming. I can see the appeal. I can see, you know, that energy is attractive. I get that. But it's like, there has to be temperance. There has to be some kind of balance there. Otherwise, it's like, otherwise, it's just like not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be this person's fantasy. Um, they can't just like dream about you, but never. It, it's like they don't imagine that they could actually have like a relationship or like, ha like have stability. Like this person is almost just like kind of used to just living in like their own fantasy world and not really being that close to people. Or maybe they have like a tight social circle, but like, they're, they're kind of awkward. They don't really open up to people outside of their social circle kind of energy is what I'm getting. Um, but for most, I feel like this person's kind of a loner. But uh, but yeah, there's going to be some kind of talk that's coming into play here. And this person, I think this person is going to at least make an attempt. They're going to be in shock, but they're, it's like you make them so nervous that it's almost like you have to be the one to take control here. Like they don't, it's like they, it's such a, it's such a childish energy where it's like they really don't understand relationships. They're like, it's like a little boy that has like a crush on somebody or like a little girl that has a crush on somebody. You know what I mean? Like they don't, like there's no stability there. They're just like, oh, I'm going to throw a frog at you or something. You know what I mean? Like they don't, like there's like flirting and there's like running away from each other and like it's cute and all, but it, it's not, it's not solid. There's, there's nothing really solid there. So it, it's kind of up in the air right now if this person's going to. Like they want to, they have the desire for something stable, but they don't know how to do that. That's the thing. They haven't had that guidance to be able to know how to have something stable and solid. So it's really up in the air right now. But, um, but yeah, let me know if this resonates with you guys and I'll keep the story going. So thank you for watching. Oh, and if you want a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at awl.com. That's right below in the description box. And please comment, even just leaving a heart or liking the video. It really helps me get back in the algorithm. So thank you guys.